hair bright, daily vlogs. Oh, let's get the I just got a fundamentals of interactive design and uh, I was recognized, that was pretty cool. Somebody was actually looking at the campus for UCF and that's how they found my video. I didn't ask for a name, I'm sorry if you're watching this. Tell me your name next time you see me. Ball sack. What? I can't say it, only DJ has to say it. Hey you guys, you asked for a video with Callie when she was little. We're finally putting one up, it's actually called Special Friends. It's going up right now as we speak. It's going to be up in like five minutes. You all got to get to see Callie when she was nine years old. Well, let's see if you could find Callie in that video. I challenge you to find her in the video and let us know if you could find what color shirt she's wearing. They're on. What is that? Lexi? Wait, Lexi! Oh, it's so cute, the lizard. Let's chase it. Here, go. Way down there. Oh, come on. Come here. It's a lizard. Come here, it's over here. Holy sh- this is so much smoother. Looking at it in 60 frames. Right there, right there. Right there. She's so dumb. on the other side of the wall. It's funny to watch. She doesn't see it. Oh. Ew, look at the ground. What is that? What is that? Two two legs. So Sabrina, Used to never draw anything, and now she's got this extracurricular. Wait, what, what was it called? Prerequisite. Prerequisite drawing class, and now she just draws stuff whenever she she's bored. It's like a hobby of hers now. And she used to like make fun of herself, like, "Oh, I can I can draw crap." Now it's her favorite thing to do. That's not what we talked about. She's gonna start a a drawing channel <laughs> where she draws things. I don't know how to draw people yet. You will. I'll show you how to draw people. <laughs> the eyes are in the middle of the head. Kind of abstract. <laughs> no, really. The eyes are in the middle of the head. I don't know. I've heard that before. And then the nose is in the middle of the. M I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I took it at art class once. Let's have Kelly teach me. <laughs> well, I just covered the mic. That's. I'm sorry. So I'm trying something new since this Sony Next camera actually has the ability to shoot 60 frames per second at 1080p on like most DSLRs, which is kind of crazy. It's actually better than DSLRs in that concern. Because Next cameras have the ability to shoot 60 frames per second at 1080p, I figured we would just give it an attempt. And the first part of the vlog is in 24 frames per second, but we're going to attempt to do a full vlog in 1080p 60 frames per second. And I'm pretty sure if we uploaded it to YouTube at 60 frames per second, they would, um, can't think of the word, downscale, not downscale because that'd be resolution, but they would, it would end up uh, displaying in 30 frames per second. I'm pretty sure everything displays in 30 frames per second on YouTube, even if it's 24, it's just, that's just how it works, I think. That might just be TV. The reason I'm doing this is because of an article I read on red, I read on red.com. Um, I'll put the link in the description. They actually wrote an article about how all these people are sticking to 24 frames per second because they think it's cinematic and um, that's what movies are usually shot in because that's just what people are used to with film and they like to, uh, I guess, resemble what film looks like in their digital recordings. But they're saying that's sort of the mentality that people have when they record, like for, for instance, when people used to record in not digital, they used to record in uh, analog. So, and there's a lot of people that didn't want to switch to digital because they like the sound of analog. They sort of said something like that in the article. And they're saying that's sort of reminiscent of people that want to shoot 24 and don't want to go up to a high 
frame rate, and HFR, I guess is what they call it. But they gave a lot of examples of why high frame rates, like 60 frames per second, look much better than 24 frames per second, even though it might be cinematic, because you get the um, juddering. When, when 24 frames per second, if there's movement, you get judder, which I guess is sort of like a jump stutter. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm assuming it is. And they give examples for it in the article, so go check out the article. So basically, everything from here on is just a test of us shooting in 60 frames per second, 1080p, and we're gonna see how it converts to and what it looks like on YouTube, see if it looks any better than what we usually do, which is 23.976 frames per second at 1080p. So leave in the comments, or it might not even be viewable. It might just be such a high file, such a high size file that it doesn't stream. Can you beep? Can you beeps? See if you can read this. <laughs> Well, I know that says, my name is Jose Antonio. Okay. I'm the administrator of something. Some music thing. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, Musica. Uh, On occasion, I'm interested in making... Uh, something store... What? Some... I don't know what inner... You can paste this in Google Translate, you know? <laughs> They don't do very well in that Google Translate. Or do, not Google Translate, do, um, go to Google and search Spanish to English. I do. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. I'll try it. I think he's interested in something on your store. I'm going to say right off the bat, one downside of probably recording, well, definitely one downside of recording in 60 frames per second as opposed to 24 frames per second is going to be the file size and probably how smoothly it edits in Vegas, because I'm sure, um, especially now with our GPU acceleration because it doesn't support our new card, we might have a little bit of issue editing in Vegas because it's going to be such a high file or high frame rate that it's just not going to be able to keep up, but it could be wrong. We'll see. Here's a little rundown of what we're about to do. <laughs> we have some chores to do, and um, we, are, we are going to get me some shampoo. We're going to get me some... Uh, what else do we need? We are? We're going to the store? Well, well after. Oh. Um, creamer? Your mom said she was gonna buy this stuff though. Oh, okay. Well, we don't need that stuff then. We're going to the vitamin store. And the vitamin store is right next to Starbucks. We're gonna get Starbucks, but... <laughs> Which is ironic. <laughs> but basically, um, I haven't been telling you guys this because I don't like to be too negative in the vlogs, but I've been having serious pains in my jaw at night. And it's mainly, like, I have it now, but it's mainly at night. For some reason, my TMJ, I guess the muscles just start... Something I do during the day, and maybe I clench during the day without knowing it, I have no idea. I almost feel like it's because I look down too much. What? I, I notice when I look down, my jaw feels like it's, like gravity is pulling it down in a way that's not comfortable. And then when I look up, it feels like my jaw is kind of in the right spot for it to be, I think. Because <laughs> I notice when I, I, I look down a lot. Do you notice that? No. I feel like I'm always looking down though. Even when she's cutting my hair, I, I automatically look down. Yeah, I'm always yelling at him, like, come on, can't you just look at me so I can, like... So I, I almost feel like, even though I have never haven't really read about it, I feel like looking down puts your jaw in a position where it's not supposed to be. And I feel like I do that too much, and that's why it's swelling up during the day and not at night. Because at night, I sleep sideways. I don't know. Either way, we're going to get yeah, vitamins. Either way, why? we're going... What? Why are we getting vitamins? We're going to get vitamins, just not because it's going to help me, but because it doesn't hurt. And I just researched what vitamins might be beneficial for someone that has TMJ, and I found a list of them. Um, I found it says C H O N D R O I T I N. What would that be? Chondro chondroitin, Con chondroitin sulfate, glucosamine sulfate, and methyl sulfonyl methane. Or MSM, <laughs> and as well as three vitamins C, E, and B complex. So I'm just gonna get freaking supplements of all those things, and just take them every day until this crap goes away. Cause it is, it's like I, I couldn't focus on anything for the, like the past three nights. It's been really bad. Just it, get, it turns in nighttime, my mouth, my jaw actually gets numb, and I cannot open my mouth worth crap. It's like locked closed, and I, I can't eat anything. I don't get cracking. I just get intense pain and numbness and like lack of ability to move so it's it gets really scary i'm like 
is this the end? Am I not gonna be able to move my jaw ever again? Like, that's what it feels like every freaking night. It's really scary. It makes it really hard to breathe, too, because I'm forced to breathe through my nose because I can't really open my mouth unless I go like... <laughs> <laughs> that probably looks really weird. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get these vitamins and hopefully they'll help the healing process. I have an appointment with my orthodontist to um, basically get an x-ray and figure out what's going on, make sure it's not something like cancer or something like that. Hopefully it's not something like that. I'm not gonna... F I don't have wood. <laughs> I'll find wood after it, after this. Because he said he doesn't want to be that person that treats me for TMJ and then finds out it's something else down the road. So he wants to give me give me x-rays and stuff. And then most likely I'll end up with a splint, which is just like a plastic thing. I had one a long time ago because I had TMG before my braces. TMG? TMJ, before my braces. And he wanted to treat me with that TMJ before he gave me braces, otherwise it would have been hard to put the braces in my mouth, I guess. So I had one before, I know what it's like. And I, I kind of, even though it sucked, I mean, I wear a retainer every night, so it can't be much worse than that. I, I just want it really bad because I know it'll help me. I, well, I don't know, but I hope. I just want something that'll help me, you know? What are you doing? <laughs> pictures of me? Dude is looking up. Oh. Keep your head up. It's like a different world when you keep your head up. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing. Right Here now. we are in the mall for no apparent reason. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. I think we're gonna go to it. Go in there. I don't know. What's in there? Look inside. <laughs> you looked inside. It's like a machine. Get a, get an iPad. Oh, I would love that. Get on that. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go in this haircut place right here and get shampoo because we're too lazy to go to like down the road to the store to get shampoo. I mean, we're in the mall, why not just get it, you know? Okay guys, time to wind down the day. I want to take a minute to say happy birthday to Robin. I hope you had a good birthday. And I'm sorry if this is late. Robin is one of our viewers, so thank you for watching. Also, we're going to be putting up a new uh, Slender gameplay, Chris's last episode. Um, he did three, and I think we might already have two of them up. And the third one I just exported last night. We're going to be putting it up soon. It's a good one. He got six pages. Six! That's the most out of all of us that played, so it's, it's a good episode. I hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.